All right, what's going on everyone? Today we're looking at the book Super Squats by Dr. Randall J. Strawson. Now this book was originally written in 1989 and had somewhat of a cult following back in the day. Now you might suspect from the title that this book has something to do with squatting and in fact it's inspired by the old Squats and Milk program which you may have heard of. So let's dig in and see what we can learn. This is five lessons learned from Super Squats. All right, lesson number one, 20 rep sets of squats for growth. How does this work? Well, you take a weight that you would normally get 10 reps with and get 20. All right, that sounds a little insane, but let me explain how it actually works. So this works because, in fact, you're gonna actually do rest pause sets. Now, to do this, you're gonna get the 10 reps that you would normally get, and then you're gonna take a rest at the top of the set. You're gonna catch your breath, let yourself recover for a second, and then get one more rep all the way up to 20. This reminds me a little bit of how Tom Platt's trained. He had a mentality that you could always get five more reps no matter what. But if you can do it, if you can somehow get to 20, the amount of stimulation that your legs will experience will be otherworldly. All right, moving on to lesson number two, simplicity and frequency. This program keeps it really simple. The base of the program is that you do one 20 rep set of squats two to three times per week. That's the foundation of the program. Aside from squats, a few basic movements are all that's needed. You'll have one pressing movement overhead for your delts, one horizontal pressing movement for your chest, one pulling movement such as a barbell row for your back, one exercise for biceps, triceps, and calves, and that's it. Now you'll complete this routine two to three times per week depending on your ability to recover. If you find it hard to recover at three times per week, you'll scale it back to two. If you find doing this program twice a week is still too much, you can scale it back even farther and do something like two times every 10 days or 12 days. Matching the training program to your ability to recover is the magic formula for growth. All right, lesson number three, progressive overload. The super squat program keeps it really simple and straight to the point. There are no fancy exercises, no periodization schemes, and no advanced techniques. Instead, the only medium of progression is progressive overload. Your only task is to add five to 10 pounds to the bar each session. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're training this close to failure on a squat, five to 10 pounds can make a big difference. And if you train two times a week and you add five pounds per session, in 12 weeks you'll add 120 pounds to your squat. Keep that in mind if you get a little too over eager to add weight to the bar. Okay, we're at lesson number four, calories are king. Now this book seems to be aimed at the hard gainer. In other words, the individual who has a hard time building muscle and putting on weight. And if you fall into that category, it's no secret that calories are critical. The Super Squat program recommends a meal plan consisting of over 4,500 calories. These calories come from mostly whole food sources, such as whole milk, dairy products such as cheese, an assortment of different meats, fruits, vegetables, and some other carb sources, which leads me to lesson number five. Lesson number five, lots of whole milk for growth. In the book, the author describes milk as a magical white liquid that helps you build muscle. I'm not sure if it's magical, but whole milk is an insanely efficient way to put down a lot of calories. Let's face it, eating 4,500 calories a day is hard work. If you had to eat that many calories of chicken and rice, you'd probably never leave the kitchen. Consuming your calories in liquid form helps the eating challenge to take in enough food to fuel the demands of this type of training. All right, guys, that's it for Super Squats and this week's book review. Now, I've personally tried 20 rep squats like this in rest pause fashion, and I can tell you from firsthand experience that it is brutal hard work. But it does seem like legs in particular respond well to high repetitions and higher volume training in general. So maybe there's something to this method. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever tried a program like this before, and how did it work for you? And I'll see you in the next video.